Hello, and welcome to this ESG Lab video summary. Over the next few minutes, I'll be reviewing the results from a recently completed ESG Lab validation of NetApp Data on Tap 8.2. As IT continues to implement advanced capabilities such as IT as a service, as well as traditional services such as server virtualization, the demands on and for storage increase rapidly. ESG research shows that IT is focusing on building scalable, virtualized infrastructures to support rapid deployment of storage and IT resources to address data growth without interrupting business operations. This figure shows the NetApp Clustered Data ONTAP 8.2 solution for efficient, flexible, scale-out clustered NAS and SAN storage. Clustered Data ONTAP 8.2 provides scale-out storage that scales to petabytes of capacity and gigabytes per second of throughput using any combination of NetApp FAS and V-Series storage systems, providing non-disruptive operations, unified storage efficiency, quality of service management, and secure multi-tenancy. ESG Lab performed hands-on evaluation and testing of clustered data on TAP 8.2 at facilities provided by NetApp. Multiple virtual machines were deployed in a VMware vSphere environment. The servers were redundantly connected to a four-node data ONTAP cluster. The NetApp on-command system management console provides an easy-to-use single pane of glass interface to manage all aspects of the cluster data ONTAP, from the individual components to the clusters. Here, we are configuring a vServer, the NetApp virtual storage container, to house the volumes and LUNs we'd be using for these tests. NetApp on command was also used to configure and control SnapVault disk to disk backup. In this configuration, we used SnapVault to make a near instantaneous backup of 1.5 terabytes of data from Microsoft Exchange and SQL Server. SnapVault leverages both snapshot point in time dataset copies as well as native deduplication to provide efficient disk to disk backup and restore. This minimizes both data transfer over the wire and the size of the backup footprint. We were able to restore from the backup in a matter of seconds. We tested clustered data on tap 8.2 in support of non-disruptive operations in two ways. First, we verified that performance was not impacted during upgrades of two storage controllers. Then, we moved a volume from one storage controller to another within the cluster. Again, we experienced no performance degradation. New for data on tap 8.2 is the ability to control quality of service by limiting IOPS and throughput. We simulated a typical environment with multiple Exchange and SQL servers and measured steady state performance. We then initiated an unexpected or rogue application, in this case backup, and experienced a significant impact on overall performance of the mail and database servers. We placed a QoS limit of 25 megabytes per second on the backup servers. Immediately, the database and exchange servers returned to their previous level of performance. This shows how system administrators can use QoS to limit the impact of rogue applications on the performance of the entire storage system. Service providers often pre-specify service level objectives for each tenant. As organizations transition to an IT-as-a-service model, IT duplicates the behavior of service provider and treats different business units, departments, and applications as individual tenants. Here, we have three tenants using vServers as tenant containers and have defined a bronze and gold service level for the tenants. This graph shows how our tenants consume system resources if they are unrestrained. After applying the pre-specified QoS limits, each tenant is capped in the amount of system resources they use to the limit set by the administrator. With more focus being placed on advanced capabilities such as data analytics, virtualization, and the transition to the cloud model, senior executives and line of business stakeholders are growing dependent on IT infrastructure. These key stakeholders are demanding IT to duplicate public cloud reliability and uptime, putting pressure on IT to develop non-disruptive operations and improve service level objectives as well as the end user experience. With NetApp, we were able to quickly and easily deploy the storage cluster, and testing showed that NetApp Clustered Data ONTAP 8.2 offers a scalable, reliable, and easy-to-use storage solution. As IT continues to implement advanced capabilities as well as traditional services such as server virtualization, storage systems become more and more complex. 
This complexity is multiplied by the rapid growth in the sheer amount of data being managed and increases the demands on both the primary storage infrastructure and the data protection and disaster recovery infrastructure. As a result, IT is feeling more and more pressure to provide more advanced solutions. ESG Lab has confirmed that NetApp can bring a flexible and efficient service-oriented model to a heterogeneous storage environment while reducing complexity and delivering a robust infrastructure foundation for shared, on-demand IT services. ESG Lab recommends you take a serious look at the benefits that can be realized from virtualizing storage environments with NetApp Data ONTAP 8.2. NetApp continues to execute on its vision of a single, unified scale-out platform, delivering seamless scalability in performance and capacity, non-disruptive operations, and field-proven storage and operational efficiency. If you'd like to learn more, you can download the full ESG Lab Validation Report from the NetApp website.